Well, we're at Big Sam Rayburn. You know, Rayburn is one of the most famous bass fishing lakes you're gonna find in the nation. Whether it's recreational or tournaments, it's a lake that has produced year in, year out for many, many years. Well, look at that beautiful bass, wow. It goes through lots of ebbs and flows. Water goes down, water comes back up, and, and so you're, you're constantly in flux, which is one of the reasons why I think this is, is such a good fishery, that it, it's always replenishing. Right now, we are on the beginning side of a cold front. Uh, weather has been 80s and upper 70s, water temperature and climbing into the 60s in a lot of the pockets. Last night, it dropped down temperature-wise into the 30s, uh, and that's the forecast for some time. That's fairly common this time of the year that we're over here, and it's always a challenge for fishermen when they're met with those conditions or, or dealt that hand, so to speak, on what to do, what to expect, and how the fish are gonna change. It causes those fish to go forward, go backwards, they leave the bank, they go to the ditches. The fish that were coming from out on the main lake will stall out on secondary points. And what we're gonna to try to do today is dissect what they're doing. We've got a variety of baits on the deck and, and we'll probably throw every one of them to try to find the right one that's gonna produce. And as we're doing it, we'll talk about what we're doing it, why we're doing it, and maybe, if we're lucky, we'll catch a bunch of fish. Doesn't take much to see what we've got here. You can see what I call the hay grass, and that's going to come out a pretty good ways out because the lake has come up and that grows all summer long. And depending on the ebb and flow, sometimes you'll see that water way back up in the pines on this lake, and and right now it's kind of in between. It's not enough water in the buck brush. You're going to have that hay grass coming out. There'll be some inside grass lines. Who knows what else is out here? I haven't been in this area of the lake in probably 10 years. Um, so this really looks good to me, Bill. A lot of good stuff to fish. We can fish here, the wind's gonna be comfortable. The fish are probably wanting to get back. We just gotta figure out what kind of cricket they wanna bite on. Throw a swim bait down the middle of some of these drains. You can kinda see this little creek that's gonna go up here. A little pocket, really, it's not even really a creek. As clear as this water is, what I'm seeing on this water temperature, there ought to be some fish that are out in the middle of it. I like to throw baits like this suicide shad down the middle of it. And I throw it with a small Texas rig weight like that in front of it and then I just reel it real slow through the water like that and you can see that action that it does. That looks like filet mignon to me. I know when I look at the conditions right now that this isn't a great fishing day. I, I talk about it quite often that this is a perfect day for a picnic. It's a bluebird sky. Uh, there's not a lot of wind when you're when you're looking out across the, the the surrounding area. You think about, boy, it would be a great day to go have a picnic, and it doesn't necessarily uh, feel like a great bass fishing day. But, but what I mean by that is those high bluebird skies, high pressure type days with low wind right after a, a cold front, to me are some of the hardest days to fish. Where conversely, right before you get a cold front, where you've got a low pressure, the wind maybe is pumping out of the south, it's cloudy, it's kind of juicy, it just has a different feel. And that different feel to me generally means that I just, when I get out there, I feel like, man, they're gonna be biting, they're chomping, they're biting an aggressive bait. I know that I really need to slow down. I know that uh, that's how I need to fish, but by nature, I'm not a guy that likes to fish super slow. I've got to be convinced that's the way to catch them before I can do that. So when I hit my panic mode, when I'm bass fishing, I tend to go faster. I tend to look for a reaction bite versus slow down, even though in my mind, I know I need to be slowing down. In the back of your mind, somebody's always got to be catching them better. Somebody's, you know, catching bigger ones, and you can never let up. So when you come to Sam Rayburn, you know, in any given cast, you've got a chance to catch a big one. We're gonna keep moving and bobbing and weaving until we figure something out or get too tired trying. You know, they, this is where the fish really should be. Just halfway back on these little secondaries and around these secondaries in between that hydrilla and this hay grass. I just haven't hit the right group of them for sure.